Hello there everybody, I hope you're all doing fantastic today. Welcome back to another Wheel Assassin video. In this one, I'll be teaching you guys how to build the Sinclair house from of course Stranger Things. This is where Lucas and Erica live in the show. It's a really, really big house to be honest. And it is very, very nice. I like the fact that uh, the real building itself is actually quite blue. It's got like a blue sort of um, paint on the, the main structure of the building, which is really nice. And it's got quite a lot of different sort of textures around it as well. As you can see, I've used planks there, a bit of quartz, and of course some grey concrete over on that right side. I don't know what I was trying to say then, but uh, over on the right side. So uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice building. It's quite large. If we go up, you can see how big it goes back as well. And of course, around the left side, it does have a couple garages as well, just for the Sinclair family to park their cars. So um, we've got a lot to do today, but it's going to be awesome. I hope you can stay tuned until the end, and yeah, let's just crack on with building. So now then, I'm going to take myself a very, very large space. I'm going to go besides my other Sinclair house, but you will need at least a, let's say, about 65 blocks um, in, like, upwards, and then horizontally, I'd recommend going along by 100 just to be on the safe side. So we're going to go ahead and go to this side over here. I'm going to take myself light blue terracotta, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, an oak door, grey stained glass pane, birch wood planks and some light grey concrete. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take my light grey concrete, I'm going to place one, two, just here, and I'm going to build these straight up to four. So that's already one, two, three and four just like so. Then I actually want to drop into the floor and go along for four. One, two, three, four. Now I am on a bedrock edition world, um, so I have incorporated that bit going down into the floor um, in a bedrock edition world so that we don't have to sort of, you know, plan a different, you know, garage in a different spot so we can build it above ground. It does actually go down, you know, and out of the world just like so, but uh, I managed to incorporate it in the bedrock world, which is awesome. So let's take our light grey concrete again, go besides our four just here and build up to four. One, two, three, four, just like so. Then we can go ahead and extend that along and fill that up like so. Then we're actually going to take our birch planks. We're going to go diagonally out just here. And we're going to go up to four just here. One, two, three, four. Then drop in the floor here. Well, drop above the floor and place one just there. Then two grey stained glass panes just go there. A plank above. Then we're going to go along for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two three four five six seven and straight up to four blocks as well so there we go we only have the one window on that birch planked area so taking our smooth quartz block now we're going to go just behind the birch so diagonally back just here and go along for three like so build up the end two by another three so these are worth four so one two three up to that fourth one and one two three up to that fourth one just like so then you can fill over that little gap there, leaving a two block gap where we're going to stick some grey stained glass pane in that in that gap like so. Then we're going to go ahead and take our smooth quartz block, place one just here with an upside down stair facing back into the structure like so. Go into the floor and place a smooth quartz block just like so and then build a four block pillar to the left of that. One, two, three, four, just like that. Take your oak door, go backwards into the structure and place it just like so. So the stair should be in line with it like that. Wonderful. Then lastly, we can take our light blue terracotta and go up for four just here. One, two, three, four, di directly next to the quartz like so. That is brilliant. Okay, so going around the corner, we are gonna go and make sure this wall goes back for about 16 blocks. So we got one, take your light gray, stain, uh, light gray concrete even. So we got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Now all of these go up to the four again, so you can just build up this entire wall to four blocks high. Let's get it done. Well that is looking wonderful. Pretty pretty grey, but you know, it's not too bad. It will look great once it's, you know, got a roof on top of it and it looks like a proper house. I actually just went and grabbed some stained glass, um, which is grey some grey stained glass, I'm going to drop it into this little gap we made for a big sort of patio window just in here. So I'm going to fill up all of these four rows of three just like so. Oh, awesome. 
can't speak today again <laughs> every time i go to film a, a tutorial my uh like language just goes into a different type of language that no one's ever heard of before so like one from space and i just kind of adopt that for the for the tutorial so if you guys are new around here you've never seen a willie system video i apologize but you're going to need to put on some translation tech technical software-y stuff so you can understand what i'm saying <laughs> all right anyway let's go ahead and take our birch wood planks and go right the way along next to the gray wall just like so and we're going to go right before we reach in line with the blue up there like so then we can actually go in line with the blue with the light blue just like so and then this entire structure is going to go up to four so one two three added to that to make that four and then our birch planks make this entire wall up to four blocks high as well by just adding in three rows like so awesome what i will say before we carry on is i don't actually have any interior designs planned as of yet i might look at it in the future but at the time being um i haven't really seen much in the way of like the sinclair's inside of the house so i don't want to like mess it up and just build it you know so i'm going to leave it for now like i did the henderson house and then when we hopefully get some more images of the interior it's like more rooms uh, then I'll look at sort of adding in an interior tutorial for this for this build. But uh, yeah, that is one side of the house done. Nice job, guys. So now then, this next step might get a little bit tricky, but just stay with me and hopefully it'll be okay. What we're going to do is I've gone ahead and marked out the second block along diagonally away from the structure we've just built. So if you were to go in line with your light blue terracotta, go up diagonally, leave that block and then go to the one to the other direction of it. So this one just here in my case, I just punched a hole in the grass just like so. I did the same up this side, but to the left. Awesome. What I'm actually gonna go, go ahead and do is I'm gonna slash fill this entire area and kind of remove it so we have enough space to build the actual house. So what you wanna do is I'm gonna count in line with the light blue terracotta, so a block behind it, then I'm gonna go to the left for the front and then to the right for the back. So just stay with me. So go to the front wall, your one with your door on, go to this light blue terracotta, drop down into the floor and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and on twelve, just stop right here. Okay, then we're gonna go from twelve, so you just want to mark this out with maybe a grass block above the ground like so. On twelve, go up for four, one, count after it, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine and on thirty you want to mark that bit of ground out as well now what i'm actually going to do is this is the one we really need this block right here so once you have this you can stop sort of digging out the floor by hand we're going to use the commands to do that. So I'm going to place my block back in over this way. Just know that this is the one you need. So this one on my back wall. Remember, leave a block diagonally away from that light blue and go to the right of it for the back. I'm going to get the coordinates of this block right here. Remember, your guys' coordinates will be different to mine because we're not on the same world. So you write slash fill. Then I type in the coordinates I'm given on the left side of my screen. So minus 159, 3. In my case, which the elevation will be the same as mine, so 3 is what you want. Minus 76 for my one. And I'm going to type that in. It will say an error, but that is okay. That is what we want. So, that is the one we've marked. Let's go to this corner. And we need to grab ground level of this one. So, where the marker is, break the marker and count this one just here. Get the coordinates of this one. So, get your coordinates back by clicking right on the D-pad and then up. Then you go ahead and get your coordinates for this one by going a space away minus one three one three oh sorry we want to get the elevation to zero so we just want to get to above bedrock so my command was right but we need to go just to this one just here and place a block just above the bedrock so let's do that again so minus one three one your elevation will now be one because that is the block level it's going to take out Apologies for my squeaky chair, by the way, guys. <laughs> then we're going to go minus 46 for, in my case. And then I'm going to click air just like this. Now, hopefully a massive square will be removed of dirt. And then that will save us having to destroy it all by hand. Let's click that and hope for the best. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay, so there we go. We've removed an entire square like this just besides our build, which is amazing. 
brilliant. Let's go ahead and remove that one marker and then we can grab some new materials for the actual build itself. Awesome. So now then, for the actual main structure of the house, we only grab ourselves light blue terracotta, pillar quartz block and some glass panes. Now we've already basically marked out where the house itself is going to be because we only did the square like two blocks away from these pillars just here. And two blocks away is where we're going to start our build. So leave that space again and go to here. And in your sort of uh, pit just here, you want to go ahead and start building from the one in line with the floor, just like this one. So this is where we're actually going to build our house, kind of this row just here, next to ground level, basically. On the back, it should just be that block there. Okay, let's build this one up just to above the ground, like so. Bear in mind, we'll come back and landscape the entire thing afterwards, so don't worry about that for now. Okay, let's take our light blue terracotta along, and we're going to go along for three blocks so far. So make this one three, just by adding two, like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and add four. One, two, three, four. Then one, and then another four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to add another three. One, two, three, like so. Okay, so the second block up, so this one we're actually in line with, we're going to go ahead and add a window on this row. Well, two windows on this row. So let's make this three go up and along for three. So that one go out along for three, like so. Then we'll place a pillar quartz block just here with two glass panes to the left of that. Pillar quartz block just there. One light blue terracotta, one pillar quartz block, two glass panes, one pillar quartz, and then three light blue terracotta, like so. All right, so now then, what we need to do is take our light blue terracotta and run it right the way along this for three rows. So that's one, two, three, like so. Now on the fourth one, we're gonna go ahead and place our blocks in, so one, two, three. Then we're actually gonna place our pillar quartz just here, one, two glass panes and pillar quartz just there, one light blue, one pillar quartz, two glass panes, one pillar quartz block, and then three light blue terracotta. Now then, what we actually do here is start to kind of tear it up for the roof. So let's build a massive row going along here, the entire structure. Then we'll do another massive row. We can always trim this down if we need to. Then on the third massive row along, we're going to go ahead and come in a block on both sides. Like so. We're kind of tearing it up like it, it was a barn, basically. Like it looks like a barn. Then we go ahead and tear it up once more. Once again, leaving a block on both sides like so. If we need to add them in later, we will, but it's no problem at the moment. Okay, now then we need to make sure we only leave a three block gap. So one, two, three. Okay, so this entire row, we can just trim that off like so. Then we'll add our pillar quartz up here. So we're actually gonna go in line with our, our first window. So this one just here, the one closest to the inside. One there, and then one there. And build that along for those five blocks. And then we just add three and then we add one final one up like so now the roof will sort of angle down all of those blocks so don't worry about that so far brilliant that is looking amazing now we just basically need to replicate that on the back so build this along until you reach the pillar build this one along until you're in line with that wall over there which i'll just extend this back so we can get it in line like this and then we just want to fill in all of these walls with light blue terracotta going up to that block just there. Let's get it done. Now then, once you've filled up that entire section like this, you can now go ahead and take your light blue terracotta, basically fill over this wall back here, then bring that one along, and then build this pillar along as well, so you can get that beam across for the roof like so. If you want to now fill in this section as well, you could do. I'm going to leave mine plain for now. I'm going to make sure I build my qu um, <laughs> pillar quartz block though on the back as well. So I'm going to start here, one, two, three, four, oops, four, five, then three, and then the one like so. We can leave that hollow for now if you want to as well, just so we can go ahead and add the roof in later on and do the roof for that section as well. What I will suggest you do though, is take your grass and just go ahead and fill in, or dirt even, fill in around the sort of structure of the building, just so that it's not left suspended in midair, like this. The reason we removed so many dirt blocks is so that we didn't have to remove any for the garage area. But uh, we may have got a little bit carried away. That was probably my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so let's just add it in here as well. 
but it's best to remove more than you need because then you can always come back and sort of correct mistakes later than having to have destroyed, you know, way less than you needed, you know. So uh, there we go. That's perfect. And then you can always plank up underneath this as well. So this top layer of dirt, take some oak wood planks and fill in this entire section. Let's get it done. So there we go. That actually looks cooler when it's planked up like that as well. Looks a lot more filled up, you know. Pretty cool. Now I've taken myself some birch wood planks and some smooth quartz block and we're now going to build the garage area. So once again to go two blocks in on your building and start on three, I'm going to drop down on top of my bedrock and I'm going to make sure all of my walls go up to five blocks high. Bear in mind one of these block levels is going to be filled up with sort of concrete for the road but uh, we make this five just to sort of counteract that. So go to here and go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to build this along. Uh, actually, I'm going to go to the other side first of all and sort of mark this out as well. So third one in, one, two, three, four, five, like so. Now I'm going to make sure both of these birch walls come out for another nine blocks so we can make this basically ten. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just add those nine. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like so. Brilliant. Bear in mind all of this is going to go up to 5 blocks high, but for now I'm going to mark out the rest of the build. So let's take our smooth quartz block, go on the ends of your, your walls over here, go up to 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Exact same on the opposite side. And then what we're going to do is kind of find the middle two blocks. So we're going to make sure we leave a gap of about, I think it might be 6, but I'm not certain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to place a block here just to be on the safe side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it is. Okay, six block gap between both of these garage areas. And then we build up a double pillar worth five blocks in total as well. Like so. All right, let's fill in these birch walls and get back to it. So now then, we're going to work on the roof of the entire thing. So we're going to grab ourselves some smooth quartz slab, some smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, stone slab, and some stone. What we're going to do is, first of all, take our smooth quartz slab. Go up to the top of your five block high pillar of quartz on the end of the birch and run this along until you reach the building just like so do the exact same on the opposite side this entire roof is lovely because it's symmetrical so we just want to build whatever we do on one side to the other as well now we want to take our steps and place one just here and place one on the opposite side as well so on the quartz like so wonderful now we're actually going to go ahead and take ourselves a uh, block and we're going to run that just there and run that just there as well we're also going to place two more blocks just here with some upside down stairs coming off of them like so brilliant now we can go ahead and behind this block place an upside down step and an upside down step behind that as well like down like so cool now above this upside down step we want to take a beam and run it all the way to the other one just like that now we can place a slab here and a slab the other side as well, just to kind of counteract the block being so high. Looking awesome. I'm not sure how I forgot it guys, but we do need some stone steps as well. So to actually carry on the stone section, what we need to do is go ahead and take our stone stairs and run them directly next to our quartz stairs, like this. So basically what we've done with the quartz, we do with the stone as well. So pretty simple stuff. What I'm actually going to do here is go in line with this block with stone on the inside just so we can put the slabs on top of that and have something to rest them on so it's a little easier for us. So like this. And the other side as well. Like that. Then we go ahead and put a slab block just here all the way along. Like so. Can you stick an actual block there? Oh, you can. That would be much easier as well if you wanted to do that. Perfect. And then we just go ahead and slab over the entire roof like this does take a little bit of a couple minutes because uh, your slabs like to go a bit mental. They kind of are undecided if they want to go down or to the top of the block. So like that one. <laughs> so just uh, take your time with it. Feel free to pause the video if you do need to at any point in the tutorial. It's no problem at all. And there we go. One garage completed. Looking great. Let's work on the roof of the big section. So now though, we want to build the roof for this big section just here. We're going to use the exact same materials we use for the garage and of course once again this is nice and symmetrical so do whatever you do to the front to the back as well. 
So let's take our slabs again, so our quartz slabs, go right the way beside this light blue terracotta on both sides, like this. And then you can now go ahead and build that outer block on both sides again, like this, just like so. And then go ahead and build a block just here. So a slab just there, and then actual another slab on top to make that block. An exact same for all the rest of these corners. Like so. So now then, next to the slab block we built over here, I think you could actually place... Oh no, you couldn't place a block. Okay, I just wanted to double check that because I always end up doing it and then making a mistake like that. But uh, no, that's okay. We want to go ahead and place a block just here besides all of these slab blocks that we made a second ago. So on all four of the corners, like that. Then what I want to do is go ahead and build another slab block just here. So we're actually tearing up for like a fourth time. Well, third time really, if you didn't count the uh, slabs off to the side of the building. Like that. Then we can go ahead and place two normal blocks just here. Like so. Do it on all of these sides. Makes it a little bit awkward because you have to do sort of fly back and forth. But that is okay. <laughs> there we go. Then we can go ahead and place a block just here and a block just in there and then build a slab block just here. So we're going to go this one and this one. Oh, sorry, we, we won't place those blocks there. You could if you want to, but um, we're going to do that instead like that. So a slab block just up from the two blocks there. I thought we were going to have to like rest it against it, but we don't actually need to. Once we have this bottom slab in, we can place the top one above it. So that's not too much trouble like that. Then we place a block up from the slab block like that and then end it on a slab block just here like so. So you can kind of trim off that block there like that. Exact same on the front. So two normal blocks like that and then a slab block just here and trim off that kind of quartz pillar just like so. So we actually have this design. Let's do a quick recap. So slab overhanging the entire building, slab block just besides that one and in line. Then we do a normal block, slab block, two normal blocks, slab block, normal block, slab block to get to the middle, then of course you do what you did going up, going back down as well to that side over there. Wonderful. Now what we've done is we've gone ahead and taken all our stone materials and stuff like that and basically mimicked what we've done here um, with the quartz across the roof. So stone slab first of all, then we have to replace these light blue terracottas with a stone block because we've got a block there of quartz. So let's just go ahead and do that now like so and exact same over here so stone slabs then of course our stone block goes in here then we need to do another row of slabs just here then we go ahead and put two rows of stone in line with each other like this so we're still tearing up the roof but kind of a little bit less and then we place stone slabs against here then we actually go ahead and trim off that quartz pillar and place a block and then lastly we end it on a stone slab here and of course you do the exact same on the opposite side so mimicking all the quartz blocks we've done to go to this end like this it's always cool to have like a, a stencil to work off really like a marker or even a guide um, by using the quartz like that we can kind of put a border around the house and make it look really cool but also have something to help us mark out the rest of the roof and there we go that looks really cool we now need to work on this one and then we can start working on the landscape. So to get this roof done, what we need to do first of all is obviously mark out our roof with our quartz. So let's go underneath the window just here and on this block here we want to come to the top of the block and place our slab kind of thing going along here all the way until we reach one block overhanging the house like that. Then we come behind this and place a slab just here with a stair on top. Then behind the stair is a block with a slab on top. And then there's actually a block just here next to that slab going up again. Then we can build slabs all the way along. And then as we get to the same position this side, so the second block in, so this one just here. So going along the back, we just go ahead and go to here and build this along right the way next to the building. Don't worry about leaving the two block gaps again. We've already done it on that side and we don't really need to do it on the back because we don't kind of tear the, the walls out on the back. So it's no problem. Then stair, then a block and then a slab just there, and then a uh, block just there. Brilliant. Now we can build the actual roof. So to do that, of course, we take our stone. So here we're going to go ahead and put stone stairs going all the way along, like that. 
Then of course we need to do a, we're going to actually do a stone block just here. With stone slabs above it. Whatever you do to the front, you of course must, must do to the back as well. So let's do our stone stairs. Then our block behind the stairs. With of course the slab on top in a second. So like this. We might have to fill in some of the uh, light grey concrete just to this wall, um, but we'll do that in a second. So stone goes across here, and then stone goes across here, and then basically we're going to slab over the entire roof as well. Or you could even just use a block, it's up to you guys. I think I used a block on my other one as well, so I might just use a block just here, and then block over the entire roof in line with this one just here. Before I do that, let's just fill in this little section with light grey concrete. Like so, so it should look like that on this side. Wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and fill in all of the stone blocks. So now that the roof is done, we want to go ahead and lastly add in a chimney. It's a very strange looking chimney, so what we need to do is use our stone for it. We're going to go to this one, so the last quartz block before it goes into the slabs and across the other side. Come back to here and count across for four. One, two, three, four. On five, place a block, then place two slabs and a block. Then a slab goes behind both of those blocks with a block on the corners, like so. Two slabs connect up the blocks like so. Then we want to go ahead and place three slabs along the blocks like that. Two stone stairs in between the blocks and above the two slabs on both sides. Then we go ahead and connect these up with blocks like that. Strange looking chimney I know, but it looks pretty cool once it's all in there together. Wonderful. Alright guys, I'm going to do my best to teach you the entire landscape in this episode as well, so we don't have to make multiple episodes on this house. So, the materials you will need, some light grey concrete, some gravel, some grass path, some oak leaves, a wither rose, and a flower pot. First things first, let's put the wither rose in a flower pot underneath the window, just like so. Then we'll go ahead and take some gravel, and go one, two, three, and we'll bring this one forward until we're about three blocks in front of the house. So, up to here, one, two, three. Just fill in these three rows with gravel like so. Oops, my mistake. There we go. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak leaves. We're going to place one just here. We're going to make this a grass path just besides that. And then two leaves like so. Then we want to go ahead and place a leaf just here with a grass path besides that. Then a leaf, grass path, leaves, grass path until basically we reach the right side of this window coming up like so. Wonderful. Then we can take our leaves again. We're going to come to here and we're going to go just to this sort of this bit just here. So on the edge of the building, we're going to make a four block square like so stacked up for two. Stack out two on the front, two on the left side, two on the right side, and then we'll place one here, one, two, and then one just like so. Just for a weird little hedge back there. Looks pretty cool. Alrighty, it's time to build the road. So before we actually prep the road, we need to go ahead and prep the ground. So we're going to go just underneath the house's kind of foundation here. So the top of the foundation, this one, and go one, two, three, four. Basically, so we're blocked down from where we started to build this area up here. And build this four along the front of the house like this. All the way along. Then we can take our grey uh, concrete and go one, two, three, just diagonally from that grass. And then we can go all the way along this grass for the three blocks as well. And this is going to be for our road. If you guys um, are struggling to build the uh, the road three blocks only, if you built like some Hawkins traffic and stuff like that already, and you need to extend the road, then that is no problem. You can either just bring it forward or even just back by a block as well. All right, let's go ahead and add in our gravel in here as well. And then we can build the road going up to just this flower pot for now, for this last uh, leaf even. we still got to cut out the grass here, which uh, we tried to avoid with the slash fill earlier. But um, yeah, that's okay. It's not too much trouble, hopefully. All right, perfect. What I'm going to do is cut off this corner, and I'm going to add a block down just to about... Uh, let's go here. Then I'm going to add one in here. Cut this corner down so it goes to here. Then I'm going to add three just there and one just there. So basically, we're trying to keep the three sort of blocks going. We may have to add in a couple more blocks, so I'm going to have to add in one there and one there as well. And then we can go ahead and add in, I think it's about five blocks we need to get this kind of curbing in. Where we have about uh, three at the moment, where we need two more. 
Uh, four at the moment, even. So we need one more, just here. And then we can do this. And then we just sort of make sure that corner is filled up as well. To three. It should be three. That is just my mistake. It was three. I just counted it wrong. <laughs> okay, so basically we want three points like this. And then five points on this one. So we count these ones on the end. Yeah, okay. I just messed up. It's my counting. Ugh. Need to learn to count. <laughs> so we need to just go out the front of the build. Just for a couple of blocks like that. And then we can come back and add in the rest of the blocks later. Perfect. Now then, what we're going to do with our grass block is we're going to come down to the garage. And we're going to go ahead and place one, two blocks just to the right of that kind of quartz pillar here. And then one, two blocks just there. Then we can double stack two just here. Then double stack two behind. And double stack in that gap. Now basically all the rest of these blocks in this sort of shape. Well apart from here which we're going to add one just here. And then we're going to add one two just back there. We are now going to go ahead and make everything up to that level. So we can just kind of section this area off. And make this level just kind of a row up from these. So it's in line with the garden that goes along the front of the house like that. Perfect. That's looking great. Okay, now we can take our um, light grey concrete. And if you want to just go ahead and fill in this entire section, don't worry about back here. We're going to kind of cut this off and actually kind of stack this up. So we're going to make this look much better. So we're actually going to go ahead and place uh, one, two grass blocks forward. Then we'll go one, two up. Then I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, angle this in a little bit so that the road is kind of worth four blocks in total. So we're going to add like a massive stretch along here past that and up right to the corner like that and then I'm going to go ahead and double stack this so I'm going to build another one and then as we get down this side over where we started we're going to go ahead and sort of cut the section off so this entire section can now be filled back up to original ground level to pretend that this is in a hill and then we can go ahead and sort of section this, sec uh, section, this section off <laughs> make this section look better so put some grass down the bottom here then we'll stick one two three four and then we'll uh five six leaves like so and then we'll go one two three at the back one two just here two grass stacked up there and then maybe just the one stacked up like so so very weird design i know but if we cluster up the leaves there it looks much more natural so pretty cool so now we can fill in all of this section with light gray concrete let's get it done now then that is looking great by the way if you just want to go ahead and fill in that one little row down there with some light blue terracotta as well to match up to the back wall, then feel free to do so. That'd be awesome. Let's actually take some oak leaves, go in line with this pillar again. We're going to go up to the verge that we made a minute ago and go one, two, three. Then up from that, I'm going to place two just there. Now block away to the right, I'm going to go ahead and place one, two, and then one, two next to that. Then I'm going to place two back from that on that top bit just there. Two blocks away, I'm now going to place a block here, and then I'm going to go one, two, just back on that uh, smaller verge, like so. Now two blocks away from both of these, top and bottom, we're now going to place ourselves one, two, three, one block in the middle, and then three at the back, top verge, like so. You could also do a fun, funny thing with the uh, corner over here, by just adding in a uh, grass block, again makes it look a little bit more natural, um, but it's up to you guys. Brilliant, that is looking awesome. So now then, I've just taken myself some light grey concrete again, and my grass block again. I'm going to run my glass, uh, glass block, <laughs> grass block even, along there, and connect it up to that hedge just there. Just so the verge is a little higher now. That means we can also extend up the road, just in this gap, which is worth four blocks. Then we'll do five, just here. Then we want to go ahead and add in another row, just here. Let's go just to there as well, that'd be fine. Uh, actually, let's go right the way along so we can connect it up to this one, just there. Now we need to start angling in on this left side, so we'll bring it in again here, bring this all the way along, and then we'll do it once more, just to here, like so. Now then, we should have uh, two kind of points, not including that one just there, so these two. Then we can go up to here, for three blocks, like so, and then we can go ahead and change this up to road, and also bring this forward up to about that section up there. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this section in the sort of entering gap between the, the actual house and then the road that goes behind the house, well, kind of in front of the house just there, but behind the main road, um, you don't really need to have like a specific gap if you don't want to. 
but um, I decided to make it look as realistic as possible by adding in this thing. But um, like I said, it's not important if you don't want to add it. Let's also add in the grass just down here. So you can fill in this little section of grass. And then we'll also add in our grass here as well. Right the way along. Those two layers. That's looking lovely now. That is looking less and less uh, like, you know, we just slash filled the entire thing. It's looking quite natural. Brilliant. So what I'm actually going to do just here is make this road worth about nine blocks away from where it goes downhill. So this is now worth about seven. So I need to add about two more rows of three just to here. Then you can go ahead and add the main road in. That's going to be like just to here. So it's like a block kind of diagonal. And then it's going to run all the way up to the corner of the light blue terracotta bit of the house. So about here. Oh, perfect. And then we want to go ahead and add two just down here. Section that up by two. And then we can start kind of a new road just here. So it doesn't really turn that much, but it looks cooler if we do like a little flick in the road. Just to make it a little bit more natural. And just connect it up with that one. And make sure it goes just one block over your sort of dividing line here. Just so again, it looks a bit more natural. So now we're going to finish off the foliage around Lucas's house. So to do that, we take some iron bars, smooth quartz block, oak leaves and some oak wood. I'm basically going to build these four little trees that go alongside the road just here. So I'm going to go two blocks back from this one just here. So one, two. Then I'm going to go to three and I'm going to go back one. So I'm basically in line with this one just here. I'm going to go three blocks away now. One, two, three. Place one. One, two, three. Place one. One, two, three. Place my last one just like so. Wonderful. Now I'm basically going to do the same design for all of these. So I'll show you guys how to do one and then you can probably do the rest on your own. So I'm going to build this up to about three. So just add two kind of logs onto these. Then we'll start on the first tree. I'm going to go basically around the perimeter just for one like this in a nice big sort of surrounding square. Then I just go up on the middle like that and then I just place one just like so. Super simple, very, very easy to make. Um, and yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So let's get the rest of these trees done. And there we go. They all look really, really cool. And because they're quite small, they don't take up a lot of space. So you can still see the Sinclair house when you're coming down the road this way. Pretty awesome. Let's now go to down here where we built this sort of verge that goes down and the road connects up to the garages. We'll take our hedge again, our leaves even. We'll go along the front for about five blocks. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, we'll do five. Then we'll go ahead and go back on these two for two. Then we'll go a block away. So we're on these two. And I'm going to do a one, two, three block design. And then I'm going to go up for two just there. A little bit different from my original, but it looks pretty cool still. Then I'm going to go ahead and come up to just this one here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to go one, two, three, and on four. I'm going to stop there. Then I'm going to go along and up four. So one, two, three, and on four. I'm going to place my wood just there for my tree. Now this tree is just going to build up to here, uh, up to about just a block below the roof, so the last sort of light blue terracotta. Then I'm going to bend it out just by a couple blocks like this, so I can kind of experiment and mess about with it a little bit. I'm also going to build a little log just down here, so third one down and then out like that. Now the tree's super random, so there's not really a technique to building this, um, but as long as you get something that looks a little bit like that one, so, um, you know, it's kind of got some dangling leaves and it looks a bit like a swamp tree. Then that's the kind of thing you want. There isn't much of a technique, like I said, with this. So it's kind of just go mental and then kind of come back later and trim it off a little bit and uh, see how you like it. But um, yeah, so I'll guys, I'll leave you guys to do that if that's OK. And then um, hopefully you'll get it it's, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, however, which way you do it, it won't matter too much. I, uh, I'm a bit nervous about trees building in Minecraft because I suck at them, to be honest. <laughs> I tend to just build the little ones and then hope that does the best thing. But um, yeah, as you can see over there, I tried to do Steve's house. Um, I have built Steve's house. That will be coming very, very shortly. But um, I did build the tree out the front there. And as you can see, it looks pretty um, manic. So I'm going to have to come back to that and sort it out a little bit later. But that's okay. So I'm going to place one leaf just here and one, two, three. Then two back and besides the tree like so. And then one block just there. Alright, let's go ahead and build the tree and then we'll finish off the build. Well, there we go. I built my tree finally. It's very, very messy, I know. But uh, I'm actually happy with the design. I think it looks okay. 
trees are of course natural and they're always growing so you don't have to sort of build it you know with like pristine looks and stuff like that you can make it as messy and as rugged as you like so that is the bonus about nature in minecraft you know so now let's go ahead and drop down to these two leaves over here place two like that and then build this one uh let me just see if it goes yeah okay just go straight along the front of the building like this and then stop when you get to here you can connect it back up to the building if you want to but i left mine a little bit open like that just in case a gardener who wants to get back there or whatever i know it's a little silly to think of that but uh you know i like to sort of think of the little itty bitty details when i'm building stuff like this all right let's go up to this corner go ahead and place two leaves just like that two leaves just like that so leave the corner one empty um, and then i'm going to go ahead and kind of build a little square back there and then one block just there like so i might knock off this corner as well like that just to make it a little more interesting all right wonderful then what i'm going to do is come to my first corner of the building just here so in line with it go a block back away from the road and build up kind of like three blocks but one kind of spread off to the side like that and build some more little trees uh not exactly the same as those ones we're kind of going to do the same style but we're going to build them a little bit more funky so i'm going to go four leaves like that then i'm going to build this one up to two that one just a one i'm going to build like this sort of weird design going back here like so so from the front it looks a little bit like this this side i'll add two leaves just here then on the back i'll just go ahead and sort of make this look a little bit less 2d so just by adding in coal blocks like that very random design i know but uh yeah it's a bit of a, a growing tree you know it's kind of just going wherever which way it wants <laughs> and then we'll go a corner block over here so this one then we'll go diagonally up just to this one go ahead and place another two block and this one i'm going to make it a little bit more simple so i'm just going to do like this sort of design so similar design to the one we made over there but i'm now going to go ahead and kind of make this fray out a little bit on this other side sort of make it look a little bit more rugged you know so maybe like that sort of thing you know just to add a little bit more detail around and that's wonderful. Okay, so whilst we've got our quartz and our iron bars in hand, we want to go ahead and make the mailbox. We're going to go ahead and first place a little hedge behind the mailbox. So we come to the road over on this left side. So one block around the corner, leave this one empty. Go three blocks along, then we're going to go two back, and then this one we're going to go three back, like so. And that is our hedge. We can then go ahead and take our iron bars. I'm going to place them on my middle one of the three, and then place a smooth quartz block just like so for the tiny little mailbox there pretty awesome very very simple but i think i like the design nice one all right there's one last thing we need to do and that is plant those trees at the back and grab our telegraph pole so let's do it now then the final materials we will need we're going to need some spruce fence some levers some stone buttons oak saplings and some bone meal i'm going to go to the right side of my house and this light gray concrete area i'm going to follow this wall all the way until i reach the road at the front that we built earlier i'm going to go directly next to the road so this road would be a little bit longer but that's okay take my spruce fence and build this up to 10 so we've already got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on the ninth one down build it out on both sides and then place levers on both of these with a kind of lever part facing towards the house like that then a stone button just goes on that middle one like so and they have a telegraph hole pretty awesome stuff now taking our oak uh, saplings and our bone meal we can come right to behind the house and just plant a little forest just go a bit crazy with your saplings like this so even around the side a little bit if you want just go absolutely mental and then start growing these up and also place some uh, sort of bone meal down on the grass as well so you can sort of make the uh, the landscape look at a bit more natural and things like an actual forest behind the Sinclair house. Bear in mind the Sinclair house is only a couple of doors down from Mike's house and of course the forest is pretty much behind Mike's house so we kind of plant the same forest back here as we would Mike's house as well. And there we go that is how to build the Sinclair house. Thank you so much for watching this video, awesome video guys. If I do decide on doing an interior, I'll definitely drop it in the description. But um, it is not out yet and I'm not going to be doing it just yet until I have a little bit more details on the inside and stuff like that. But I hope you can stay tuned until that does come. That would be amazing. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some more of my Stranger Things builds, like I said, Steve's house is on the way very shortly. I have the Hawkins Middle School Gym um, available to watch now, as well as Hawkins Post and a Demi Gorgon coming soon. Please definitely stay tuned for all those. That would be amazing. Have an excellent rest of your day. Drop a like if you did enjoy this one, and be sure to consider subscribing if you're new around here. Thank you so much, guys. Hope to see you at the next video coming very, very soon. And yeah, take care. Goodbye for now.